so I had a couple of packages that were delivered to us. We're going to uh, get these things out of the box um, and uh, talk about it. And more importantly, all I'm doing is, is showing you the product itself, showing you all the features that it comes with, um, showing you what it looks like when it's unboxed so you can see what you get whenever you order one of these things. But then I'm going to talk about why you may want these things or why you even need these things. So if you guys didn't see on our previous reviews of power stations, um, we uh, moved back to Ohio after being on the road three years in an RV. And we were staying with uh, our daughter and her husband and uh, our grandson at their home. And within a short amount of time of being back here, uh, they had some kind of weird weather that popped up. And we had some wind storms that came through. But I wanted to show you here, every light that you see, every light is solar. Those are solar powered lights. And that's because we've been without power for probably the last three hours. No street lights and no luminescence. I mean, there are literally two street lights right there. And as my daughter said, it's actually spooky out here because they don't normally see this, you know. They, this is normally all lit up because it is the city. Everybody's got lights normally on. So one of the reasons that you might want to jump into a power bank that has solar rechargeable panels is because you could, even as a homeowner, run into this. So what happened was we actually had to uh, utilize a power station and the generator to run uh, a crock pot, a full-size residential refrigerator, and we also had uh, a freezer that was downstairs, a uh, deep freeze, and of course uh, some cute computer equipment uh, that was, uh, you know, hooked up. Uh, for example, the internet had gone out for everyone, uh, including our son-in-law who works from home, uh, whereas we run uh, EasyCom, and that just requires an outlet and a cell tower signal. But nonetheless, we had to run uh, our power station uh, to keep those things going. So there is situations where you may want to have this. Now, as far as a backup power supply um, or uninterrupted power supply, that's UPS, these can be utilized for because a lot of them have pass-through charging, meaning that you can leave them plugged into the wall and um, in case your computer goes down or the power goes out, um, it'll keep it running. It'll it'll keep the computer going. Let's let's talk about the main reason, and that's going to be camping. Uh, whenever you're out camping, uh, you know a lot of people don't want to go out. Uh, let's say guns blazing, all their equipment. You know they like to go out. They like to be off grid. They don't want to be plugged in. Well, if you're going to do that, you need some big batteries or you need a big power station. So let's look at the big power station. Should be rather uneventful unboxing it, but high density black foam. I'm going to set this on the ground and lift this out using the handle instead of me trying to lift it on the tailgate here. So at the bottom of the high density foam that sits at the bottom of the box, was this here it's got their logo van powers well you got a little manual in here user manual you have some adapters these are the uh, for USB charging you got a uh, C to uh, a, a 4 or an A here you have your uh, MC4 connectors for solar and then you have your power cord for recharging using a household outlet and then your power cord for recharging using uh, your power port in your vehicle. Okay so you see me handling this moving this around it's a little bit of weight obviously if they're gonna put man that's really oh my god that's slick I didn't think it was gonna go up that nice and easy <laughs> but uh, obviously if they're putting a handle on it and wheels uh, there's a reason it's 42 pounds so again, with an RV, you may be looking at, oh, hey, I'm real close to my max weight already. Um, you're gonna have to go with something smaller potentially. But the good news is the reason that it's so heavy is because 
of the uh, ability for the battery uh, to, to do more. Um, the heavier that is, doesn't mean so much there's more electronics in there. Doesn't mean that the case is built any heavier necessarily, even though this is pretty decent. Um, it's because it's got a big battery in there. That's how they get their longevity from these things. Looking at the front here, you can see that you have a couple of 100 watt, a couple of 20 watt, and then three 136 watt outputs. There's the meat and potato of things. Look at all that. Isn't that nice? You got, you got six outlets. Um, yeah, you can use that. And then, of course, your uh, boink, your power port. Now, this says the 13.6 volts, 10 amps. Yep. On the back side, it's pretty plain. Nothing there. And then on this side here, your inputs. So, I like the fact that, oh, that's nice, too. They have a uh, overload reset so I like the fact that they have this all in one location one area so basically you're going to connect your household power outlet charge it that way or you're going to hook up your solar or your power port to your vehicle again they have the same type of connector and then here's a ground uh, you know a lot of these are protected really well but you may get into a situation you might need to run a ground I'm going to try to capture this. We did a lot of uh, testing with this thing. We ran it down to where it was at zero. And it says right now that the input is 243 watts. Um, I don't know. Yeah, there you go. Um, 240 watts. Um, 256 watts. So it, it's fluctuating. It says recharge time in 7.3 hours. I want to see if I can bump that up. I want to see if this will charge using uh, solar also. So... 250 watts 256 watts seven hours charge time it's dropping really fast um, I don't think it's going to take that long to charge uh, so let's go ahead and uh, bump this thing up see if solar adds to it so again solar this is what comes uh, with the uh, link that's in the description um, basically you're in order it separately not everybody needs solar if you do again there'll be a separate link for this oh this is nice this is a little different. Oh, yeah, because you could charge that way, too. I guess you could input through uh, a power port. Hmm, that, that is different. Then you got your bag. Let's get your little logo on there. It's a carrying case. Oh, there, there we go. There's a pocket on it. I was wondering if there was a pocket. All right, I'm trying to do this with one hand. Um, it's a very nice case that, you know, that you take off. All right, so if you unzip this, it'll let you know uh, what you can do here. This is a 200 watt solar panel. This is what it can do. I'll go ahead and let you pause the video if you want, get that information. Again, I have to reiterate this over and over and over and over again. And they're doing it in such simple terms to people that can't read or maybe they have a hard time with different languages. Um, you operate this in the sun. It will kind of work in the cloudy days. You can't do rain. That's why there's an unhappy face. This isn't set up because of being electricity. This isn't set up where you can put this out in the rain, guys. Um, I don't know why people have a hard time with that, but let's go ahead and check out. Oh, there we go. Like most in the past, you have a kickstand to let this thing unfold and get sunlight. So we'll go ahead and do that. Okay, so I tilted the uh, solar panel. Look at the wattage going in here. 1,707 watts going in. And you can hear the fans just going to town on this thing. Um, they're not overly loud. I mean, they're not, they're louder than me or nothing, but yeah, the recharge time went down to two hours. And uh, yeah, we're, we're up there in the wattage. And all I did was turn the solar panels to face the sun more because I, I wasn't paying attention and uh, we weren't quite where they needed to be so maybe I'll move these even more to get them out further in the sun I can't believe how much uh, boost that got uh, just me turning that so 1700 watts it's going at 
so we're going to turn on the display here the problem is there's going to be a lot of lights that you're not actually going to be able to see um, it, it is a pretty bright display but you know we're out in the sun I've always noticed that these are really hard to read when you're out in the sun which maybe because of it being a power station and it's not really made for the brutal outdoors in the Arizona heat or in the rain or dragging through the mud maybe that's why they don't really make these displays super bright but I do want to point out that in the display they've got a lot of things that are showing um, and in this case we're just showing the recharging time well it's hundred percent so that's why that that numbers inaccurate all right so on this display which you don't see there are a ton of things that this display shows um, your power factor your AC frequency your remaining recharging time which I just talked about your DC out your USB C out your Wi-Fi your auto auto off disabled uh, meaning that you see how this keeps on going off uh, you can leave it to where it's always ready UPS ready so if you want to make this to where it's a an un uh, uninterrupted power supply like I mentioned before um, your current input your current output and error warning they show you where that is high temp warning low temp warning sleep mode the fans if they're running which we heard those earlier on the charging um, yeah th there's a lot of things that the display don't show in this view but is available so if you're wanting to get into a, a power station that's going to do above and beyond what you would normally think I mean like 40 watt CPAP machines you can run it for like 38 hours with this thing um, it actually says it'll run a Tesla or charge a Tesla for about three miles <laughs> give you three miles of a charge uh, this isn't crazy big but it's not uh, small by no means and it has a lot of features again I think that Wi-Fi feature it's nice you can set this up I, I mean there's a difference between a Bluetooth feature and a Wi-Fi feature and as long as you have uh, uh, internet coverage wherever you go um, like you could have this set up as your uh, backup power supply at your RV um, just in case at the campground the power goes out quite a bit maybe you have something that you want to make sure that runs like a, a fan or dehumidifier or maybe the refrigerator even um, if the power does go out um, you can see that as long as again there's a, a Wi-Fi signal or a I should say a, a 4G signal that this has uh, the capability of connecting to it can happen um, uh, you just connect to the Wi-Fi and uh, your phone then can always connect to it through the internet not through Bluetooth so the links are down below for this click the links it'll send you right to the product uh, there may be a discount code also in the description make sure you use that code when you order it and uh, you'll get a discount on purchasing this and again the solar panel 200 watts and I like it I like the way that it looks I like the way that it uh, feels um, it feels rugged this is a, a rugged cover so nice van powers